Did you see that? <laughs> On to the next subject, we have Tom Brady, since we're talking about the game of the Patriots. And the flip side, and this whole Belichick versus Brady, who really did it better right, <laughs> kind yeah. of deal. It was who was the actual winning uh, factor winning of the Patriots. Winning factor, yeah. correct. So it we was have either Belichick or Brady, but... Tom Brady's now sitting at the top of his division, which right. no one thought would happen with the Saints and all that, but you have Tom Brady, who's now at 3-1 and one after his win against the Chargers. Yo, and yeah. And he completed, uh, I believe it was five touchdowns, but he also had another pick six, six right. and an interception. Yeah, but I think the pick six just comes from because it's the Bucks. <laughs> it's just like, look at what happened and last year with like their play. You get a They're pass like their play calling and stuff, and it's just like yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, towards the end of the game, Tom Brady was kind of like, you know what? I'm not gonna listen to these plays. I'm gonna make my own. <laughs> that's why. That's why it started to become more like you know, more himself, and that's what it started to look like. Right. Anyway, so they yeah. definitely put him in a James Winston system. Yeah. Uh, for the first couple games, and you can tell like that's just not really Brady's forte. Yeah, yeah. But I think they let leaned off of that a little bit and started letting Brady do what he does best. Best, exactly. And I think it's paying off. I think it's starting to show. Right, and um, that was one of the, the reasons why Cam Newton's doing so well in, in the Patriots is because Belichick is using him towards his, his strengths, and he knows what kind of QB Cam Newton is. He's, you know, run first, and, you know, he's attack first, and this and yeah. that, and he's a very tall guy, so he's using that to his strengths instead of trying to be, you know, like the Patriots that they were last year with Brady, because Belichick understands that that's not the same team anymore, and that's not the same QB, so he can't be running the same plays. Yeah. But that's why on the opposite end, you yeah. know, Bruce Arians is having a hard time with Brady because he wants to keep running his same, his same like and the system, his the same f- offense, and it's like, yep. see, this is the offense that got you know Jameis Winston fucking sixteen interceptions or sixteen. <laughs> who, how many pick sixes like, that he got? It was yeah. like, it was like Bruce touchdowns and thirty. Interceptions. Yeah, <laughs> it was like thirty for thirty. Yeah, it was just like. Okay, Bruce, maybe maybe it's not the quarterback. Maybe it's because of your plays that you're calling, or maybe yep. something, you know, something with that system's not working yeah, right. Just just throw it down the field. It'll because be I mean right. it was it was funny because like it was apparent in that game where it was like Brady was just like kind of done with the shit with like listening to what was going on. He yeah. kind of was just like, you know what, I'm gonna do my own thing. And then it ended up, you know, they ended up back on top because that's you know, that's Tom Brady. He has that experience. Like, yeah. it, it doesn't matter if, you know, you hate the guy or not. You know, he's been in the league for however yeah. long, and it's just, like, he's played various different, you know, against various different systems. He knows yeah. how to do certain, you know, aspects of the game. And yeah, and I think it was Arian's call as well that to lean off of the system a little and open it up more for Tom Brady. Because, I mean, I, I feel I'm like... I'm sure he, Tom Brady had some discussions. Yeah, he was like, hey, man, hey, man. Yeah. <laughs> look at all your play calls. Every single time, I swear to God, pick six. Well, that's yeah. funny. It's funny. It's making me look bad. The pick six, the play that it was on was actually the same play that the pick six happened before yeah. in, the, in the other game. So. Yeah, and it's like, why are you running the same exact plays that got you a pick six before? And yeah. it's just like, come on, Bruce. Yeah. You're the head coach. You make the call. Yep. <laughs> and then it was also towards... That's why I was saying, like, if you watch that game, just look at the face on, like, Tom Brady, where he kind of just, like, clicked in his head, and he was just like, you know what? I can do this shit myself. <laughs> yeah, right. Which is funny, because leading into, I guess, um, what uh, Aaron Rodgers does is there was even an interview where Aaron Rodgers even says sometimes he ignores the play calls, and he does his own thing. And it's like, is that best for the team to ignore the head coach, or is it... You know, because sometimes it, yeah. it depends. So it's it's yeah. all situational. But at the end of the day, you know, like the quarterback's the one on the field. So, you know, yeah. if he sees something, then maybe, you know, the, the change of play is a good thing. 